This is my new and improved 3D printer. I have enclosed the entire structure inside of a temperature controlled chamber. You can see I bought a second heated bed here on the right that controls the air temperature inside. The air is also heated up by the light bulb toward the back of the box. Other than that the printer has stayed the same. So you can see the PID controller on top of the box here maintaining the air temperature at 48 Celsius. My spool is on top here. I moved all the electronics outside of the box to keep it cool. In fact, there's a fan blowing on it. That's my ramps board right there. And I use the fan output. The um, number nine output actually controls a relay that turns on and off the PID controller that controls the temperature inside and turns off a few other things so that at the end of a print job it shuts everything down. You can also see here the print that's proceeding right now I have support material worked out uh, this is another print of my head based on a scan that I had at the Maker Faire ultimately what I'd really like to do is also move the extruder motor out of the box and push the filament from the outside I noticed that design on some of the printers at the Maker Faire but uh, yesterday I printed my head in two halves you can see it here it actually came out really well. The reason I built the enclosure is because I was having problems with delamination. Uh, my prints that were very tall typically had cracks in them and so I wanted to fix that problem. Another little feature here you can see the front face is plexiglass and I just uh, for now at least hot glued on magnets to the plexiglass and to the frame. The whole frame inside is built out of 8020 aluminum. So I will post a picture of this print once it finishes.